Dave Molyneux changed the dashboard on the number one outfit in the 15 minutes that held this race on the start line. And as a result, he now gets away into the top of Bray Hill. Without that delay, he'd be in the paddock watching this race. And away down towards the bottom of the hill as his local rival, Nick Crow, starts the race 10 seconds behind him. Out through Union Mills as this race gets going. Across the petrol station forecourt there and away up the hill towards the campsite at Glenlock. Up to Ballacrane. This is Dave Molyneux. 600 Honda engine sounding as strong as you like in there and no sign of missing a beat after all that excitement and drama on the line. Screwdrivers, spanners everywhere, but look at that behind him. Crow is already catching up. And again, these two are still together as they go over Balaf Bridge. 17 miles into this race and it is clear that Crow is on his way past Molyneux. And again, it looks easy, there's a difference in power. So Nick Crow had a two second advantage over Dave Molyneux at Glen Helen. It's now much more than that, it's 10 seconds. And we're looking down again from the helicopter as they begin the mountain climb. And look at the way that Nick Crow is just easing, easing away. But will it go the distance? He must be thinking about that. The gap is now double what it was. And now he's heading down the hill with Dave Molyneux still tagging along behind. And it's an engine problem for Nick Crow. And incredibly, for the second time in three days, and for exactly the same reasons, Dave Molyneux, who almost didn't start this race at all, now finds himself in the lead. You have to finish in order to finish first, and nobody knows that better than him. And this is the man through the hairpin for the final time. Dave Molyneux with Rick Long sat down beside him, keeping it planted as they go round that very tight left-hander. And that shot really shows you the scope of what these men are attempting and how enormous this circuit is. Until you've ridden round it, until you've felt the wind of it in your face and felt the engine straining. And that 600 engine will be straining all the way up the hill. Until you've seen what they're attacking here, Absolutely astonishing achievement to finish in a TT race of any kind. To be in the top 10 is like winning a world championship in any other class. And to win it has no compare, nothing. And Dave Molyneux has won 12 of them already, one of them this week. And he is about, cross your fingers, to win another one. And here is Dave Molyneux. Dave Molyneux heading towards the chequered flag. You can see it now. And as Andy Fern signals the end of this second sidecar race of the week, it's win number 13 for Dave Molyneux, his second this week, and it surely must be one of the most rewarding after all those dramas on the start line. <laughs>